The regular of the City Council meeting scheduled for 7 p.m. April 19th will now come to order. Roll call. Councilor Hogue. Here. Councilor Kwebenen. Here. Councilor Lillis. Here. Councilor Hadrava. Here. Mayor Vaisalovich. Here. Item C, Minutes of City Council Workshop, April 5th. Minutes of City Council Meeting, April 5th. If no one has any changes or questions, we call for a motion that we approve the minutes of those two meetings. So moved. Motion made by Koivinen. Do I have a support? Support. Support by Hadrava. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item D, approval of tonight's agenda. We got kind of a pretty short one tonight. No one has any additions or deletions. Got to call for a motion that we approve the agenda as it is printed. I'll make that motion. Motion made by Drava. Do I have a support? Support. Support by Hogue. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carried. Appointments and presentation. We don't have any uh, commission appointments or no one yet. Oh, okay. no. Yeah, no, I'm on the way for a while here. Okay, uh, anybody from the audience wants to address the council this time? We allow five minutes, but we'll allow time at the end of the meeting. To talk about anything we discussed tonight. If not, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Approval of payroll, March 15th through the 31st, and a request for for Sergeant Jesse Howe to attend the 2016 Canadian American Drug Conference, Nisswa, Minnesota, May 25th through the 27th. Can okay, we have a motion that we approve the consent agenda with these two items? So moved. Was it made by Lillis to have a support? Support. Support by Koivinen. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Do we have any public hearings at this time? How did the uh, Board of Review hearing go, you guys? Did you have many people there? We did four. not have anyone in attendance. Oh. However, we were there in full force. <laughs> we got to do a lot of talking. <laughs> we asked a bunch of questions and of our uh, of our county officials, and they gave us some good answers. They gave us some good answers, and we sat there and, and priced my parcels out and. Unfortunately, they're not worth what I was hoping they were worth. <laughs> it was a long hour. <laughs> you know, it's, it's nice having the, the county there because uh, if something has to be followed up on, they take care of it. You know, get a get a hold of the resident. They have a night. They had a nice setup there. They answered any question we wanted. They punched it in. We could see any house in town. It was kind of neat. I know we had them do a, a few reviews there. It came out to you know everybody's satisfaction when they went because there were some you know legitimate concerns and they did a good job of taking care of them. We don't have any unfinished business under new business. Recommendation to hire EMT Guy Sperling wasn't he on before or in the fire department? Guy Sperling is on the fire department. Oh, okay. And he was an EMT before, and we just got through doing a. Uh, we had some interviews and we don't need a background check on him because he's working for us and also we just want to kind of get him through and then we have another I want to say five or six people are doing background checks on and then we'll have them to bring to the council uh, you know when they clear another bunch of good candidates well it's nice that we're getting some you know numbers to keep the service moving yeah, yeah. really important so with that being said, I'll make the motion. Okay, Joel, you make the motion to hire Mr. Sperlin, and we have a support. I'll support. Support by Hogue. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number two. Payments to Cleveland Cliffs for release of restriction covenant on the part of Southeast <laughs> Quarter, which is the land by the dog park. So. We can complete the sale with the Minnesota Power. I just, you know, you can't believe on the stuff that comes to bite you around here. <laughs> like that Ellis location, you own it, but yet you don't. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and hopefully that's finally you coming to fruition. You can't do what you want. Yeah, I mean, this, this thing just came up, you know, no one even knew anything. 
Well, they got it all sorted out for us. And well, that was nice, and it's all said and done. That's finally. Yep. And we can move forward. Because Minnesota Power wants <laughs> to get to work on that substation. I know they're anxious. So I'll make that motion, and we accept that and pay it. Do you have a support? I'll support it. <laughs> motion made by Adrava. <laughs> support by Coyvin. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item J3, resolution ordering preparation of a feasibility study for West 2nd Street in West Eveleth and Garfield Street. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fifteenth Avenue from Second. I believe it was. was it? Real for me. Sure. So, what's the blocks for Garfield? That's all the way from uh, Grant to Hale uh, Avenue. So that'd be the all the way up to the school. Four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, and seven hundred blocks. Okay. I'll put that in my resolution. Okay. Jer, with this, uh, we had talked about it. Did what? What happened uh, this weekend? Did you look into that? Is this going to play any part of this? Yeah, the, the piping under Jackson isn't quite as bad as it is under Garfield. So Garfield needs it more. Okay. Um, and that was a storm sewer that it wasn't sanitary. Okay. So we're just going to temporarily fix that until, until the next one we get on that one. Can, yeah, okay. Until we can dig Thank you. And we are going to do Garfield in three, four sections and one whole one. We're going to break it down per block. Break it down per block, right? Okay. Center line to center line. With that, I'll make the motion that we uh, send them all for the feasibility study. Motion made by Hydrava. Do I have a support if there's no, no discussion? No support. Support by Lillis. No further discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Item number four. Approved benchmark to repair a feasibility study for improvements to 801 Hattrick Avenue parking lot and public parking lot located at 400 block of Jackson Street. <coughs> 801, that's the Hockey Hall of Fame. And the Jackson Street, that's the city auditorium. I wonder if they did the rec center once before, because uh, when I drove by there, it looks like that is in better condition than the Hall of Fame. I was up there this morning, and I was thinking the same thing. The Hall of Fame can use it, you know, and over, but uh, the the excuse me, the rock, it doesn't look that bad. The rock won't look that no, bad. No, that's what I was kind of wondering. No. You know, I I mean, I could probably make it, uh, you know, another year or so, another few years. But like I say, it is that that one is from halfway over to the Hall of Fame is pretty rough. Whoever, <coughs> excuse me, whoever designed them, little knolls there with them trees and the rocks there, I'd like to know, I'd like to see them. <laughs> because they don't drive a plow truck and they don't park cars. <laughs> They're the dumbest things I've ever seen. I mean, I know we have rocks around here, but they don't look pretty. Yeah, you know, they're just there. We see them every day. That's I mean, they're just there and it's just, uh, I, enough ranting. <laughs> when I looked at it this morning, do you want them to move as part of the project? I don't know. I mean, everybody'd have to take a look at it, but there's no, there's one tree there, and the rest of them is rocks. I mean, I mean, you could park probably four or five more cars there if they weren't there. I guess if you made that part of the feasibility study, when we, you know, suggestion maybe. I think the plan will just make that remove those and add all. Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds good, right? Are you talking about on the north side a lot? You know, right where the Hockey Hall of Fame yeah. is, they have their their parking oh. and handicap parking. You literally, to back out, if you've got a, a big truck like mine, you're hitting it. I mean, I mean, to me, there's no reason they should have been there. I mean, maybe back then they made the cars smaller and it looked pretty, but a rock is a rock. <laughs> I mean, I don't see anything that looks good there. Well, that was, that was the thing when you designed things that during that time, you know. Mm -hmm. But like you say, for handicapped parking there in the winter, it's worse. Yeah, and it, and it blows so much up there. And, and a lot of it, the, the wind blows into that and it hides and makes a big drift on the other side of it. I mean, if it wasn't there, it'd be 
like I said, we could put more cars and stuff in there. Anything different on the auditorium lot? You might think uh, other than I looked at the auditorium lot. It doesn't look that bad. It could use a. Bad. It could use a. You know, cover it up a little bit. A There's little a couple bit, of spots. I, I did that too. There's a couple of spots closer to the building that are a little rough. I mean, and, and that's a parking mean, lot. That's why for the most of it, it looks better than almost the rock parking lot does. It's, it's we not had that stripe about bad, four years ago. No. I remember that. That thought it was pretty good shape. Yeah. If there's anything different, uh, you want to do there while Rod's taking notes here. Yeah. It just We're looks, you know, that looks good. I mean, it's just it's a big parking lot, and that's what a parking lot is. You know, it should be. You shouldn't have all these diversions in there. Yeah. But, okay, I took a ride this morning and, and looked at all three of them, and, and that one up there gets used a lot. Yeah. I was surprised at seven o'clock in, in the morning how many vehicles were in there. You know, there's curling is really picking up because boy, that yeah. lot has been full. Yep. Many times. And not only that, in the curling summertime, they have all the parties up there. You know, they have some weddings and whatever else so i mean you know that's the thing people kind of forget about that yep i mean other uses for that it's such a beautiful facility you know and then you take such good care of it up there that you know you know hopefully a lot of people utilize it yeah yeah it is it is really nice and you see you kind of forget about it yeah it's got more uses than just the curling yep anyone have anything uh, any other discussion steph did we get a Motion? Not yet. Call for a motion that we approve the feasibility study with the uh, ad alternate. I'll make the motion. Motion made by Coyman. Do I have a support? I'll support. Support by Hedrava. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Number five, payment to innocent Rebecca Blaisdell for the release of land from, ju from a judgment lien at 609 Garfield Avenue in Evelyn. Well, this will, <clears throat> I'll make the motion because once we get this done, then we can go through with that piece of property and we can do what we want to do with it. Then it didn't take us long to find her, so I'm pretty happy about that. And with that, I'll make the motion. With, now, we don't, we have to do, six is contingent on five, am right. I right on that? So yeah. we, we, do we want to do both at the same time? With that being said, no? Well, you got two resolutions. Probably separate them. But I assume what you're saying. That you don't want to pay innocence unless, of course, we're going to get lowest on. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, you can make them contingent on each other, which means they both have to have it. Okay. Well, I'll make that motion because when I talked to the chief, he, he told me a while back that this low just wants out of it. Yeah. So I, I'm pretty sure he's just going to sign off once we, we send this check to Innocence Bleasdale, then we should have full control over it. And we, nobody's suing us and we can get on with what we want to do. I'll support that motion. Motion made by Corbin and supported by Lillis. And uh, yeah, she was really amenable to signing that. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of work because I was ready to wing it and take a chance, but and now we'll be covered all if the way. She's all right signing off, then that's better yet. Yeah, it's know. not a big loss for us anyway. It's a big gain. It is. Yes. Do you have any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number six. Resolution accepting donation of property located at 609 Garfield. <coughs> and that is contingent on the signature of uh, Innocence Blaisdell. And I'll make that motion. Motion made by Hedrava. Do we have a support? I'll support. Support by Hold. Any further discussion? You know, we've already got uh, some of the neighbors up there interested in that property once the demolition is through. You know, once you get the demolition done and you get the old car out of there and, you know, you clean it up, you get a nice lot out of there, I think we'll have no problem. It'll, it'll look really nice when meant for the neighborhood. Yeah. Yes. I drove by there, it's not a pretty sight. What is that, one of the doors on the center <coughs> levels hanging off? Oh, golf clubs are sitting on a... I mean, if you, if you actually drove by this, this place and didn't know the scenario of it, you would swear somebody's living in there. There's oh, yeah. a kid's bike in the front, there's a car in the back, I mean... My aunt and uncle are rolling in their grave. <laughs> <laughs> 
few years back, there was an extension cord going from that house across Garfield down an alley. And I, that's when I said, what's going on? Well, the police followed it. How long is that going to last with cars driving over in the winter? Then they had a generator running in a garage, and they had to tell them to shut it off because no one could sleep because the power was off. It's unbelievable, oh. you know. If you told somebody what went on there, they'd call you a liar. Yeah. I mean. I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, anybody else have any further discussion on this nightmare? If not, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <laughs> Item number seven, resolution accepting donation for use of the Hippodrome. $500 donation. To host the Bantam A Regional Hockey Tournament that was held February 26th through the 28th. That's a nice. I really think that's nice. I mean, can we, are we going to send them a letter of thanks? I mean, that's really nice of them to do that. I would think so. I mean, yeah. you want to include that in a motion there, Joe? Yeah, I would like to include that a letter of thanks, and I'd like to say thank you for the $500 donation, and it's very appreciated. Okay. Do I have a support to that motion? I'll support it. Motion made by Koivinen, support by Drava. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number eight, consider quotations for curb and sidewalk replacement. Jerry, looks like we only had one, eh? <laughs> That's part. <laughs> yep, we only had one uh, this year. So. But they came in cheaper than they did last year. So. Oh, that's... You won a little bit. All right. Stretch the dollar. Yep. And that's, we committed to $30,000 and we got 10 from the county. 10 from the county to do CASA routes, uh, either sidewalk or curb, and we've got some good candidates. So. Well, that should put a nice dent, 40 grand into the sidewalks and stuff. Definitely, definitely around help. here. And that's good. Plugging away every year. So that's what I, the key point. that's what I told Commissioner Nelson. That was a nice program there. It helps us out because we do commit a lot of resources to that particular projects every year. Yeah, what's really nice is we tried to put at least 20,000 in the last years, and to be able to do 40,000 this year is, you know, we're doubling it, which is really nice. And you like to stay ahead it of the game. It goes a long ways. Yeah. You know, in case keeping you get, the streets nice. In case yeah. you get a lean year, you might not be able to do anything. You know, this way you stay up to date now. Can I have a motion that we accept the bid from 3D Concrete and Construction? I'll make that motion. Motion made by Drava. Do I have a support? A support. Supported by Hogue. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. That takes care of new new business. Anybody have any committee reports or presentations on anything that's uh, going on? When is the park opening, Gary? Veterans Park? Yep. That opens up uh, officially on May 1st. It's a Sunday this year, falls on a Sunday, but that's just... There's, uh, there's really activity in there as of yesterday. That's what I heard, yeah. I yeah. didn't get out there today. But. The lights are on. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting things warmed up. And it's yeah. been a very busy campground. Getting the summer home ready. Yeah, yeah. They don't have electricity out there yet. Or we don't have they must be off for the battery. They must be. Uh, Brian, do you have anything to bring up? No, I haven't had nothing new since last meeting. Joe, you got anything? Um, let's see, the Ellis Golf Course opened up today at 11 o'clock. And uh, not the nicest weather, but we've had people out there. The new cart barn, the phone is ringing off the hook out there. So I'm glad we went through with it. And I, I don't know, have you heard anything from John today, how it went? Uh, I, I got a few calls from other people that said uh, the greens were fantastic. Yep, that's that, so everybody was really? impressed. Uh, they loved the new cart barn. So yep. I think things went really well. I'm glad that we did it, and uh, I think that everybody else will be glad too. That was a good project. And then we have a uh, we're going to have a meeting with uh, the golf commission, and and since we talked with Rod about the platoonist being, you know, at a 15 time or 15 year low. We're going to see if we can see what we have in the fund and then see what the city can maybe put towards and try to do some of the the uh, cart paths because there's some that are in really rough shape. 
I thought we were going to do some. Uh, we are. It's just Jerry's been out there taking a look at stuff to see which ones we definitely have to fix because there was some, they're really rough shape. So. And we're getting a list together. And then we'll bring it back to the council and we figure out what we should do or what we can do. Just to keep you guys updated. Well, this, this is the year to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, it goes back to like what you said. It's, it says it's going to be at a low. Eventually, we're going to have to do it anyway. So if we can do it now and it's cheaper, then we will take a look at it. Ryan, are you healing? Okay, no, we, were, we were taking it easy on you tonight. We're healing, and I appreciate the fact that you're taking it easy on me. <laughs> I guess I have one comment I'd like to make before I had my surgery I had the uh, occasion to uh, visit the fire hall and got a little bit of a tour from our fire chief and our uh, EMS director and uh, quite impressed with the work they've done up there you know this is all volunteer work and um, you know we as a council and as a city had uh, had opted to uh, pitch in a few dollars towards that facility and it's really gone a long ways. I, I guess I would like to thank all the folks that, that uh, spent so much time and, and some of their personal skill to, uh, to help the city out in uh, renovating that building. It looked real well and, and plans for the future are pretty good too. So uh, the building's looking good. It looks like we're getting back up to staff again and uh, um, so I think things are looking pretty good for our uh, fire and EMS services. You guys are doing a good job up there getting the staff up, you know. I think what we need now is two Dalmatians outside of them. <laughs> because then we'd be like on TV. It's gorgeous. <laughs> you can't believe the comments on those doors. People say it looks like a new building. I had a person, I can't mention any names, they asked me, why did you paint it red? I looked and I says, okay, what should I say? I was very nice. I said, because it's a fire hall. It's a fire station. It's red. It's supposed to be. Classic. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. then they accepted that. But my first thought was, wow, I can't believe you just asked me that. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you get asked questions like that. So you have to be nice and control yourself. Yeah, what are you going to do? I still think the dogs will look nice out there. Dogs. <laughs> Even porcelain ones. <laughs> Okay, no, that. Uh, it looks, <laughs> looks pretty spiffy with those new doors, I'll tell you that. It looks nice. Really nice. Well, they, they take pride in that building and stuff. That's yeah. A lot of people spend a lot of their time in that building, you know, and our chief and assistant chief, and they do a lot of work up there. Brian, anything else? No, sir. Brad? No, sir, I have nothing further tonight. Well, you know, it's springtime. What usually comes with that are the blighted properties, and the ones I really got a concern about are the rental ones. The guy who forgets to, to rake his yard or something because he uh, went trout fishing early or whatever, but those ones that are generating an income and letting them look really shabby, I, I think they owe it to the community to clean them up, dress them up. I think that's kind of uh, the blight focus should be. Because, like I say, they they're running a business out of them, and we got we got a few on the main street that aren't too bad. There are some weeds and stuff like that to take care of. But you know, I was I was thinking, don't chase me out of here. You know, the, well, the, this is a really a great building location. I was looking out here, but the only problem is for people getting up here for meetings. Mm -hmm. If at some point in time, I wonder if you could ever add on to this building, one floor going out that way in front of the police station. I'd like to see an architectural picture because this is a solid building, you know, it, it'll last forever. Mm -hmm. Something that would look just a, on one floor. Yeah, I mean, just going out that way, I was looking at that and make it a lot easier for the senior citizens is that to get in here, you know, a little uh, more conducive. For the staff too. It's just how ideas start. You know what I mean? I was just, I was just thinking. You know, you're talking something that you know might take you five, six years. But I was wondering if we get an architect to maybe do, do a picture of it, kind of what we think it should look like. Because like an elevator is going to cost you what three, four hundred thousand. I think we were and looking a small just area. a small one at the time was like two fifty. 
and then the buildings in such shape we'd have to cut into the stairs which you don't want to do that because then you take the the history of the building away well that's the thing you want you want to keep it as much as you can mm -hmm. you know like it was and they can make like an addition like that to look I can't like believe nobody rest. else has ever come up with that idea I was just looking at that today you know and you got the hallway down to the police station there mm -hmm. that would all be enclosed everything the only thing you'd have is the gazebo out there and I don't see a lot of traffic in there because well, we you're never going to build a new city hall. We could move that gazebo. One of the that. parks could probably use it. Well, you know, you, you looked at that and it was too flimsy. Yeah, yeah, it might fall apart. That's why we ended up with that log one up there. Okay. That one you could move. That's <laughs> <so> <laughs> stop. Yeah. And the price was pretty good compared to those others. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about that because what would you replace this building with? Some metal tin building. Yeah. It's hard to replace a building, <clears throat> these buildings like this. They're been here a hundred years and they're solid. And comment to your, you know, idea about that. I think maybe we should explore like what the Elks did and put a lift exterior to the building. You can look at that. You know, we have we make the sidewalk bigger. We, I, I think we checked into that too, but we and were still talking a right couple there. hundred thousand dollars. Even if they went out there, then you're tearing into the walls there because this building has been kept up. See, we're really talking good. 12 years ago. That's why these cameras were put downstairs. So if somebody wanted to wheel themselves in, we could have a two-way conversation going back and forth. Mm -hmm. That was a quick fit, fit that was underneath a thousand dollars because we looked at putting a uh, elevator up the side and we looked at it put the only place you could structurally put it was in the stairs and we are anywhere from two hundred fifty thousand to five hundred thousand dollars I mean you can go to one of these back windows I mean you're not taking a whole lot of the brickwork out either. I mean you're going two and a half two feet you know well, it doesn't hurt to get another you know as long as we're asking for an architect to design because that's probably it won't hurt to ask for that also. most cost effective way to go i mean if the elks did it and they're not profit but that's been a long yeah. time brian I mean, it's been in there almost 20 years already that's way cheaper than probably the new ones will be now you know if you had a a, a lot of people wanting to come to a meeting that takes but time for them to get up there because it's not a real fast don't really know that until we investigate it though yeah so we should investigate that way you can keep the building as aesthetic as you can like mm -hmm. it is because what did you replace it with some tin tin building you know we were sitting i think it was last week or week before we had a meeting up here and i think they had a meeting in here so i'm out there sitting on that bed and i think uh, or bench and i think steph was there and i'm looking up if this building could talk and it's the you know the old courtroom here and i mean it's just there are a lot of people traveled through these halls yeah that was our entertainment we used to come up here and watch the uh <laughs> Speeding tickets, all that. I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was good entertainment. Mm -hmm. Your kids come up here and watch them <laughs> get <getting> fine. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering if uh, any, anybody mind if we just have an architect because they can blend anything to look just like it was part of this mm -hmm. building. You know the way they do things now, just to see what kind of space you get end up with, what, what it looked like. And that would be a little more convenient and you could build maybe some offices in front that are more secure for things like the utility building because when you go over the county courthouse they've got a pretty nice setup there mm -hmm. other than tearing everything apart because once these buildings are gone you're never going to see them again well, you right. couldn't afford to build them like this no. well, that's enough of my rambling for tonight <laughs> <laughs> steph do you have anything Jerry, you got anything else? I was just going to mention that uh, we do have the bins down at the city garage now from uh, this week from 7 to 3.30 to bring your stuff down and uh, clean up your yards. And next week, the, the next two weeks after that, it'll, it'll be open until 6 o'clock. So oh, that's good. And we'll have it for four weeks. So. Talking about cleanup is the time to do it. That's nice, those extra hours, because you know, people coming home from work and yeah. things getting organized. And Rod, do you have anything else? Jackie? And our legal expert? I could introduce myself. And I wish you would here. Yeah. Uh, Doug Greger. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not funny. Yeah. <laughs> so it's hard, hard to replace her. So, uh, but I, I, and it's really a pleasure, it's kind of a privilege to get back working with city councils. I, uh, 
I was deputy city attorney down in Rochester for 10 years during the 80s there. And uh, then, of course, the ARRB experience for 23 years. And, I, you know, it's just fun to work with boards. And, you know, really have a lot of respect for you guys as uh, elected officials. I mean, people don't realize all the sacrifices you make and the uh, crucial role you play. And, you know, to be sitting here and having the privilege of getting a front row seat. Uh, I'm really <laughs> looking forward to it. <laughs> so be easy on me, <laughs> initially. But, no, it, it, very seriously, uh, it's a nice thing at this point in my career to be able to uh, work with the city. And I, I've lived south of Nebula for uh, 25 years or so. So, but, uh, you know, it's a failed township, so, yeah. If I can mention that word, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we, get, we get along good, though. Yeah. All right. We're so, doing a lot of things with them. Well, anyway, I'm looking forward to it, and uh, don't hesitate to call me up at any point in time that I can possibly help on an issue. Well, welcome. welcome yep, welcome. welcome aboard. Hang on for the ride. <laughs> you know, you got a you got a pretty progressive bunch around here. I said they're not afraid to do things or take a chance, which makes it a, a lot more fun to do the job. Everybody's looking ahead for the community. But on that note, I don't have anything else. There's no one in the audience tonight, and I will adjourn the meeting. <laughs>